Hey friends, so today I wanted to take some time to show you how to add a border to a blanket. I get a lot of comments of people saying that they really wish that different designers would spend more time showing people how to add borders to blankets. So today we are going to do just that. So if you've got a project that you have been wanting to spruce up and add a fun border to, I highly recommend you watch this video. All right, so what I've done here is I just worked up a simple swatch. This isn't a pattern for anything other than just a border, and in essence, it's not really a pattern. I'm just showing you what to do. So let's say you have made a blanket, okay? And you're just like, you know, I don't want to do anything fancy. Perhaps maybe you did um, like a really cool stitch and you don't want to take away from that. So like if I had done a blanket and this fun stitch and I just wanted to add just that finishing touch to make it look complete, I would do a single crochet border. So for a single crochet border, we're going to work all the way around and I'm going to show you exactly what to do step by step. So we finished our blanket and I'm at the point now where I am totally ready to add that border. So what I would do is I would chain one and I would turn and right into that same space, I would work a single crochet. Now this is a corner stitch, okay? And at each corner, we're going to place three single crochet together into the same space. So that would be one of the three. And when I come back around to meet up, I would put two more into that space. So all you will do is work into every single stitch. And as I've stated in other videos, the stitch is sort of indicated on the tops and bottoms by the V. So you would just stick your hook underneath that V, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And I'll go slow, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and continue all the way across the top of your project, your blanket, if that's what you're doing, with those single crochets. So really simple, very basic, not hard at all, as you can see. So I'm coming to the end of the row and I'm, I'm at a corner. And remember what I said, you're going to put three stitches together. So here's the start of one, then back into that exact same space. And I'm going to work another full single crochet and back into the same space again for another full single crochet. And so as you can see, we have got this nice edge kind of rounding right there. And that's exactly what we want. Now, the tricky part on blankets is oftentimes when you come down your sides, you don't necessarily have designated stitches and that can be kind of tough. But one rule of thumb that I always like to use is as I'm working my way along for kind of this foundation, I just wanna aim to have as evenly spaced stitches as possible. So these are single crochets worked in the stitch below. And so all I'm gonna do, and I'll come up closer to you so you can kind of see. So I'm, I'm gonna sort of use these rows as my guide for where I wanna put the stitches. So for instance, I put those three here and that last third one kind of coincides with this row. So what I'll do next is aim to kind of put it somewhere right along the space of the next row. So if you look, that one kind of goes with this row, and then I'm going to go into the next space, and that one kind of goes with this one. And you continue along, making sure that you're just getting them as evenly spaced as possible. And see how that one kind of pulled my stitch up a little bit? I don't necessarily want that. I want to kind of work in between those stitches. Whoops in between those stitches. So that's a little bit better. It's it's not quite as open as if I had hooked onto that loop. So go slow and just work yourself across the side as best as possible. Now one option too, whenever you're doing the single crochet, you could just go around uh, once with your single crochets, or if you want to 
make it even more crisp and clean to hide kind of your side edges right here. Like let's say you're just not happy with how it looks. You can go another round with a single crochet row if you want. And if you would want me to show you how to do that, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll make a short, sweet little video how to, on how to do that. Okay, so we're coming up to another corner. And make sure you go all the way down. You come to your corner. So this corner is kind of wonky. And again, you just want to do three. So there's one. Go again into the same space, two, again into the same space for three. And then at the bottom here, we're just working the single crochets as normal. And if I stop for a second and kind of pull this loose just for a minute. So you can see how adding those three in the corner, do you see how nice and rounded and clean versus this side that is not quite as clean? And those, these two down here don't have the three in the corners, but if you were to block this, I mean, it's really nice and clean, the edging, and that's exactly what we want. And that's why you gotta put three in the corner stitches so that you have a nice, crisp, clean look. So you just continue around your project, just making sure that you're going into the correct stitches, just paying attention. It's not really hard, it's pretty simple. This is a border option that I love to use for simple projects. Um, and sometimes if a project is really detailed, then I'll use it just so I don't take away from the overall design. And again, here's our um, uh, second to last corner. I almost said almost last corner. This one's kind of being funky. So we just work three into that space, round that corner again, and here we are at the other side, and we just again want to try to aim for symmetry. You're just trying to make sure that everything is evenly spaced, that it doesn't look weird and there's not too many too close together and you know a few too far apart. You want it to really be symmetrical. And the best way to do that is to just kind of use the rows as your guide. I know it sounds odd maybe, but that's the best way I can think of to describe it so that everything looks nice and uniform. And another thing too, I think whenever you're a new crocheter, you want so badly to finish a project and sometimes you get afraid of pulling things out because it feels like you messed up or you did something wrong. Don't be afraid to pull out a project. Don't be afraid to back something up. Don't be afraid to rip out a few rows and don't be afraid to just frog the whole thing all together. Um, you know, that is how we learn, that's how we grow, and that's how we become better makers. So don't be afraid. That doesn't mean you did anything wrong. It just means, you know what, you figured out a new way not to do something. Okay, so we're back at that starting corner, and we're going to put those last two stitches in. And then all we do to close this off is we would slip stitch to the top. And I'll do that slip stitch again, just in case you don't know what a slip stitch is. So all that is is, well, if I can get my hook back in. All that is, is you insert into the next stitch or the first single crochet that we did, yarn over, pull through, and pull through again, and it will kind of, I didn't bring my scissors in the room, silly me, that will, you know, we'll just kind of do this and just pretend that I brought scissors, right? So you would weave that end in, and that would kind of be the example of your blanket. And once you blocked it, it would look all nice. But that, my friends, is how you complete a single crochet border. I hope that was helpful. And you can get excited because every Monday I'm coming out with a new border pattern for you, at least for the time being. And if you just get sick of them, you can say, okay, enough. We have enough border tutorials. Show us something else. And I will be more than happy to do so. 
But I hope that that helps answer your questions as to how to complete a single crochet border. And I hope that you love adding it to your projects. So be sure that you like, subscribe, turn on those notifications and ring that bell because every day I have new fun things happening and coming out. And tomorrow I will be teaching you how to make a magic ring. And so Tuesdays are our tips and tricks and you won't want to miss that. So I hope you have an awesome, awesome rest of your day and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.